Hi, I'm Shannon, and we're back with another episode of Cocktails and Creativity, Halloween style. This week, it's basically cocktails and zombies! <laughs> so, um, we are back with my friend Cassie, who is our expert. Hi, I'm Cassie. And she is going to zombify us. And always back with Trish. Hello. And Abby's back with us. Hello, I'm Abby, zombie super fan. For food and drinks this week, I'm calling this one Night and Smoke. And it's got coffee and vodka and coffee liqueur and a little bit of vanilla. And then at the very end, you swirl a shot of heavy whipping cream in it and mm. it does this cloudy smoke thing. But don't drink it with when it's doing this, don't do that. That's just for, you know, fun looks and stuff. Oh, smoke ring! And then for snacks, mm -hmm. it's um, pumpkin seed brittle, and then it's dipped in chocolate with some um, mulled on sea salt sprinkles on oh it. Oh my god. Mm. So Cassie is going to make us into fabulous zombies, and she's gonna show you how to do it too. And um, we have some new uh, ingredients, makeup things this week. Make me a zombie! Okay, let's do this. <laughs> so I like to take the latex, and I'm just gonna put it across her nose here. Okay. And kind of on her cheekbones, not too close to her eye. Try and keep it a little goobery. It's okay that the texture's here. So you want goobers yeah, to goob give it some texture. Goobers are good. I like to take the cotton ball and just spread it apart. Okay. So it's nice and fibrous. -y. I'm just gonna take the fibers here and just kind of gently spread them across. Okay, so latex goes back over the cotton. Uh -huh. And then we put the latex on top of the cotton because if you don't, it just looks like cotton. And you can use like tissue if you'd prefer. Some people, or like per. Oh, you mean instead of Instead cotton? of the cotton. Okay. Some people like That's tissue. Beautiful. Now that we've made the cotton a little goobery, right? Mm -hmm. um, we can take it and just kind of work it underneath and pull it up. This is how you can get like what looks like blisteries. <laughs> <laughs> so and let me it see what you're... opens up little pockets. Oh. Oh. <gasps> oh. <laughs> okay, like that's that disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. So just find the places where the cotton's a little thick. Okay, try it. And you can just stick it right in there. I see googly eyes. I know. So this is um, a secret weapon of mine are the little googly eyes that you can get at the dollar store. Um, I like these so much because they make fantastic bulbous little boils. So we're just gonna apply them um, with latex. Okay. I just use a cotton swab. Are you, are you putting them on top of what's there or tucking them into what's there or both? Both. Okay. There's no wrong answer to this. Okay. I just take and cover the top of it to make them, you know, opaque. You can take some cotton, too, and kind of use it like a Band-Aid. You can kind of cover part of it. It'll give it a different texture along the edges. Uh -huh. So now what I want to do is um, I've got loose oregano. We have prepared a little cup of um, oatmeal that we've mixed with the latex. And because we let it dry out, Yum. the oatmeal kind of absorbs it. So Trish has some lovely goobery stuff to kind of pull apart, and you're welcome to add that anywhere that you want some height, mm. that you want some extra volume height. or bulk. I'm gonna go for more of a, um, just a different kind of texture. So I'm gonna take some more of the liquid latex, and I'm just gonna put it Sweet. where I think we're kind of lacking some oh, of this I texture. Do. I'm gonna pour Ooh, okay. That's already sticking. a little bit out in my hand, <laughs> uh, just like this. Gonna to and I'm gonna dip, move that around oh, a little bit. Right. I'll glue that right on. Yeah, I feel like a Rice Krispie treat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are we ready for color? Are we ready for color? We're ready for color. Yay! Now that we've got all of <laughs> no, I just saw it. You're oh, 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 o
<laughs> several shades darker okay. that I'm just going to use to kind of cover over where my green spots okay. are. I'm also going to use it like a contour color inside our holes. and. Okay. Uh, what I've started off with is just a sponge. Okay. And I'm just going to tap on top. Where are you putting your brown? Just kind of everywhere there is latex or? I'm kind of putting it like a sponge? light dab over everything. Okay. You know, in, in spots to show the irregularities of the texture. Okay. Mm. But I'm also going to take it and hit regular contour spots like here on her cheek. I'll go and I placed it on your face where I wanted it and now with a sponge and now I'm just working it in. Okay. Because it's not pretty, no. right? I'm going to use the powder first uh, because I think it's easier to use a contour powder when I'm trying to get a specific shape. Mm. And so for the eyeballs, I'm going to do uh, like aviator sunglasses is, is a fantastic shape for uh, like a like a skull or a sunken mm. eyeball or something mm -hmm. like that because it starts higher up here in the eye okay. and kind of angles down like this and is wide through here and then comes back up and is pretty much straight across the eyebrow. Mm. Now I've taken no the hair dryer and dried all of my adventurous latex applications. I've just taken an, a primer, which has a little bit of pigment to it, and I kind of hit areas that I wanted to highlight a little bit better and kind of blend out those edges. I've also started to hollow out with a darker brown. I took a light brown at the very beginning. And now I'm just starting to hollow out so for the eyes, I'm kind of making it darker along the bottom than I am mm -hmm. up here on the top. Yes. Okay. Um, because this part down here is going to have a little more shadow. The, mm -hmm. the brow okay. will kind of shadow yep. it a little bit better. If you want the boil to show up really well, you don't want to outline the whole thing. Uh -huh. Because then it'll just look like That's spots. Mm -hmm. Right. One thing I want you to try on yours is uh -huh. get it nice and goobery and find a place that you can tuck up underneath. Uh-huh. Okay. Like right here's a good spot. So I'm going in where it can be dark. Okay. And I'm sticking it. Oh, ew. Powdering the latex will also remove some of the shine that it has. Mm. Kind of makes it super shiny. Okay. Yeah. Under all the texture, we we still have the, the red sore boils mm -hmm. parts. So uh, what I've done is taken some yellow here mm -hmm. up top. Oh, And I've nice. just placed the yellow mm -hmm. to show that. You could yeah. take some white, too. Okay, blood. Blood. I'm just sticking to the places. Look at my blood. Oh, my God. That are exceptionally <laughs> I'm joking. Cavernous. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and here. Now, I'm going to be careful to keep this out of your mouth. Because mm. it's a not the edible kind. <laughs> Oh, this is like glorious off. and disgusting. These are tooth enamels. So grab a clean cotton ball. Okay. So and you're going to dry her teeth off. Okay. Right. And then okay. just reach in with a brush or with, uh, and paint it. And it's okay. You're going to drool a little bit. That's okay. That's okay. all right. That's okay, okay too. Teeth okay, so can, can, I, can we look at us now? Show yeah. and tell time. Ready? Aim. Ooh. <gasps> So, <laughs> thanks for joining us for this episode of Cocktails and Creativity, Halloween zombie version. <laughs> if you have any questions or comments or suggestions, you can do that down below. <laughs>